Oh, you're kidding me. There's an actual jump button? All I knew about was interact, using your sword, and shooting fireballs. There's a, a damn jump button. How's it going guys? My name is Graham and this is a demo for Crystal Story Awakening. It's a quick early look at a very interesting looking game. I'm very happy to be checking it out. I do like that they have this option in the menu. I want to quickly draw attention to that. You can turn the CRT filter on or off. I probably am going to play with it off. I mean, it does look pretty cool on, but I do want to be able to like see the, the artwork a little bit more clearly. I like the, the option to be able to turn it off unless there's a very specific story function for having it and like needing it to be there. So yeah, I kind of want, want like a nice clean look at things. Long ago in the land of Falsa, there was a crystal that resided in a fortress in the sky. The crystal was capable of granting wishes to those who touched it. Many fought to claim it. One fateful day, a shadowy beast emerged from the fortress destroying everything in its wake. The king ordered his most trustworthy knight to put an end to the beast and conflict around the castle. The knight wished upon the crystal to seal the beast underground and to split the crystal into four shards. With the quest complete, the knight entrusted the shards to four sages who tucked them away. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like put it in my pocket here, we'll come back to that later. Don't worry about it, I got it nice and tucked. In case of calamity, the four sages crafted a pendant that could be used to find the shards. Many years passed, Falsung descended into a civil war. In the war's aftermath, Falsung was split in two, the kingdom of Falsung and the kingdom of Norsung. The events around the crystal have nearly faded away, as have their memory. However, the beast never forgot. Crystal Story Awakening for anyone who might be curious, yes, this is a free demo. You can go play it yourself right now. I'll have a link to that down below. Feel free to check it out. At long last, I've finally found you. The shadows are growing darker. I'm not strong enough to hold them back anymore. However, you're not powerful enough to help me yet. Worry not. I will watch over you. I will help you grow stronger. I will always be with you. Awaken, young knight. Ooh, got a bit of a heterochromia going on there. Cool character design choice. Something that's not used very often, actually, and I'm kind of surprised it isn't. It's such an uncommon thing in people. It's like a really cool way to make a distinct character when I think about it. And please, promise me that no matter what happens, you'll stay with me, okay? Crystal Story, which I think is actually already a series of games like one or two games and that's why they chucked Awakening as a subtitle. Follow me! We'll do cute little fairy. I'll do whatever you ask of me. Fortress Ruins. I won't I won't question it whatsoever. If you say jump, I'll ask how high. Get closer to the crystal and interact with it. Uh I don't know. My I, my reservations are kicking in. I'm starting to wonder if that truly is the best option for me. Get close. Ah, oh, right, right. If you, if you insist. Ooh. Getting myself a nice fiery hairdo there. Got a cool skull on the sleeve there, too. So everyone knows how tough I am. Mina learned fireball. And it slightly lit my hair on fire, like Charmander style. Fireball, 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 fireball. <laughs> cool oh and the crystal the crystal changed to yellow presumably uh each one of these has like a different oh no no that's all right that's cool watching the grass burn actually i was thinking each little path i went down would be something different like this first one has these little fire totem guys makes sense oh they're still not still not ready i don't have a sword or anything because that looks like a sword icon now so i I uh, don't have access to every area suddenly magically. I want to talk to whatever this like Cheshire cat thing armadillo is up on up on top of this here. It looks interesting. Mina peeks inside the trash can. It's filled to the brim with empty no-name brand cherry cola cans. The spider's eye. What can I help you with, pumpkin? The 
purple character on a yellow background is very similar to the uh, the Snowden shopkeeper in Undertale. Purple background, purple character, like orange background in that case. The characters look nothing alike or whatever, but you know, that's kind of what comes to mind. Also, a multi-eyed character is like the first thing I meet after the intro thing telling me that the, the beast, and then it shows the six-eyed thing. You're the beast. <laughs> I'm on to you. I've predicted the twist. What can I help you with? Let's just chat, because I have no money. Um, Mom? I think you're mistaking me with someone else, honey. I didn't sp spill the spaghetti quite so badly, did I? Uh, hi, Mom! It's the first person I see in the whole thing, and I call them Mom. Mina pets Udon and tells her everything that's happened so far. Oh! You save by petting the cat. Isn't that how saving works in a witch's the the witch's house? But can you can you pet the dog? No, there's no dog, but you can pet the cat. They sell explosive babies. Kaboo! <laughs> Welcome to Claude's Toys and Pranks. What can I get for you, hot stuff? Ooh my. <laughs> a Claude original. This adorable Kaboo doll may look cute, but is an ill-advised gift. Triple Z. The first anti-energy drink of its kind. Triple Z was made to get you to sleep in a hurry. Sleep, I guess sleeping is just how you heal up. Gentle poison. Ease them into it. Technically harmless. Comes in grape and melon. Prank your friends. Melon with two L's looks wrong to me. Or enemies? <laughs> I don't know if that's like a specific thing or if it's just a mistake maybe. I got a cousin who runs a pizza shop in Geldia. Crazy, huh? I look forward to meeting him. The, the cat's holding a ball of yarn. It's like his fidget yarn. If I was a cat, that's what I would want to like constantly have on hand to play around with. I guess I could take a peek at what she sells. She sells potions. It kind of tastes like the no-name brand cherry cola that your mom buys, with its flavor being similar to cough syrup. But hey, it's a bargain. Uh, so that's where maybe the, the connection to mom came in and we, we stuttered on our words and screwed up. Dora needs a key. Mina needs three more key pieces to make a key that'll fit it. What if I just found one key-shaped key piece? And it only required the one. Seems like you're not considering all the possibilities here, you know? It could, it could happen. I don't even need to buy anything. I got my fizzy cherry cola, po cherry cola potion on lock as, as is already. What am I saying? Don't need to spend money. Savings for days. Oh, I probably need to like whirling blade or something. If I still need... Oh crap, oh crap. I, I, don't, I don't have a sword or anything. Fireball. Okay, that was more effective than I thought it would be. But I also can't seem to kill them. Maybe if I make you... I kind of want to make him walk on the little eyeball thing there. Oh, another platform there. Alright, well, I've burned up everything I can, and I don't know what else I can do there. <laughs> this first slash, I guess, kind of second path I came to seems to be about the only one I can I can do. Where'd my fairy helper go? It seems like they pieced out real quickly. The the information they were providing was very helpful. Oh, my, my candle hair provides, like, a nice aura of light around me <laughs> wherever I go. Lighting it on fire is literally the only thing I knew how to do, and it seemed to also be the solution. How convenient is that? Oh, we're getting eyeball platforms. Maybe I can figure out what that means. Repeatedly burning it does nothing. I think I need a sword. Did my fiery hair light these lanterns when I walked under them? That might have been a thing. Oh, these are... They're, they're already lit, but it made like a sound effect. Oh! was this here before? 50 mint. Don't let it burn a hole through her pocket. I mean, I think her fiery being and hair and chucking fireballs everywhere are at much higher risk of that. Do I just have to like walk in a circle around them? Maybe, maybe I just do a little movement pattern similar to that. Okay, I, I was starting to wonder if this would happen, and then I kind of did it on accident as I was thinking through it. You have to use the fire to carry across the other side there. Okay. I, I, I'm sure if you step out of it, it just resets or whatever, so... You have, you have plenty of chances. Sword. Sword. 
Hook me up. Just yank that thing right out of there. Surely there's no safety checks or anything in place stopping you from doing so. It's yours. You clearly want it more. You gotta go up the stairs in the back. Mina got the bright sword. Press the attack button to cut stuff and then hold it to do a better job of, of cutting stuff. So fire only stuns these. Can I chop them? Ah, ha ha. Here, now I can finally actually kill. That's all I wanted. Oh. We got evil dark Mina. There's a staircase there that I can come back to things through. So I had already lit these, now I get to chop them. Ooh, battle. Oh, but when they're already blackened like that, you can't, can't, uh, stun them. Okay, series of things there. It seemed like lighting, lighting that up was significant, so I just went for it. Turns out it was super necessary. Fizzy, chera, cherry, drink. Yeah, I better just go ahead and use one. Gear, I have the sword, items, arts, fireball. Oh, you have a bunch though, like I could potentially find others and equip them. I also have AP that has not come into play yet. Oh, Dark Mina's coming after me. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Oh shit, all right, guess that was, I guess I was just supposed to run for it maybe? Some degree of effort to avoid things would have been uh, the better approach. Oh, that's funny. When she, like, revives, you can see the lights go back on in her hair. <laughs> Whoa! When you when you cut these down instead of burning them, you get you get coinage. Oh, you might you literally might not be able to kill these things without stunning them with fire first. I mean, it's not that complicated of a system or anything. Ugh, ugh, kind of startled me a little bit. I should have expected it. Okay. I'm not insane. That wasn't there before. These are not lit at the bottom. I totally lit them walking down. I could heard heard like a little Zelda-esque like unlocking sound effect. That's totally how you how you bring this up. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to save at Udon rather than redoing all this again in case I botch it really hard. I'll go over this way first. So I, I, I basically just have to kill these guys. That's nice and simple. Oh, he turned into a stone. Oh, because he's like water or whatever, I guess, is what's going on there. I'm, I just assumed that all I would have to do is like stop him in the center there. Come on, come on, guy. Uh, well, I can't really move him. Does the eye mean nothing can be left alive because I like can't be seen? For a second there, my hitbox got like wrapped up into this thing and I couldn't get out of it. Glad I broke free. Alright, well, whirling blading this should be a simple enough puzzle. That, either that opened the gate or it already was open. No, it's a kabloom. Ka kaboom? So, it, it might have just been a kaboo or something. Something simple like that. But I didn't realize they would be actual creatures. I just I just thought it was just the item type, you know? Oh, I didn't realize my fires are going out. Oh, can't keep up with this. Yeah. Oh, he's taking damage, I think, when I do that, though. Maybe. Oh, you're almost toast now, I think. Maybe. All the lights on. Oh, I had to make him blow up the crystal, of course. Ooh, I actually kind of want to go back. I hope it doesn't totally reset things. But I want to hit him towards this other crystal. It'll probably just have like money or something, but money's good. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Damn. Whoa. Secret? Secret path? But possibly, yeah. I got lost somehow and ended up here. Right when I was about to back out, this creepy blue chick appeared. Is that my creepy blue chick or does everyone have their own? She put this stupid gate up and now I can't leave. Oh well. I'm sure this will sort itself out. Here, take this. You're the only customer I'll probably have today. Huh? Pay? Nah, don't worry about it. It's on the house. Mina got a toasty bar. It's chewy, it's gooey, it restores all your HP and AP. The goods, the goods truck. Oh my god, this is so boring. How long am I going to be stuck here? That kind of makes me want to mess around with, like, shooting this guy towards other parts of the map. 
but I'm kind of thinking like, well, surely there won't be infinite secrets in every possible conceivable part of this map. Oh, come on, there. Blew it up, there was nothing there. But luckily I, I found the secret anyways. <laughs> so that was uh, lucky me. Worked out, worked out great. Uh, whenever there's like a darkness demon and I'm a fire character, it makes me think that I should be able to defeat it with the power of my, my light or whatever. But then it turns out that he's uh, pretty harmless. Doesn't seem to actually do anything. Doesn't matter at all. So I'll just let, let the floating horror shadow do its own thing. Hey, dog, dog, fox, fox guy. I just want to chat. Come on. Huh, I actually can't chat to this thing. Talk to this thing, chat with this thing, chat to this thing. Just seems improper. All right, I guess I'll relun run the gauntlet where I'm pretty sure the solution is just get hurt and then pause, and then hurt and then pause. I think that's it. And I mean, it very specifically gave me a potion right before that section, so I, I think that's all it wanted me to do. Ooh, didn't realize that could burn. Very effective. This is unchoppable, burnable only. So there's certain things that are chop only, burn only. A little bit of variety in that way. Reunion will build a path. Wait, shit, so do I have to go... Do I still have to get another piece first? I don't know how! And now I have to get hurt through this all over again? <laughs> that really sucks. This toasty bar looks like a little skeleton character. I don't think I really need anything from this guy. It's not like he just sells a key piece or anything. Oh, I can burn up the grass here, but probably it's just regular grass. I mean, he got a cat statue. Not really sure what it's for, but it's cute. Maybe that fox statue wants a, a buddy? Maybe that's what I have to bring up here? Smooth stone statue is chiseled with love to look like a charming chubby cat. I, I can't seem to like equip it. Oh, I got stuck in the rock again. There we go. Oh, he gets to hold the little cat. Is that... Did I solve it? Does that mean that the... The upper part there, those little pillars will have lowered, and I can use it as a little staircase up to the the end key piece there that I couldn't reach before. No, didn't do anything. I have no idea. Oh, that that other thing did talk about reuniting, and then the path will reveal itself or whatever. And in my mind, I assumed it meant reuniting the key pieces. It might mean bringing the two statues together. So I, I should go and investigate this one again. Reunion will build a path. I, d I did that. I gave the I gave the statue back to the statue. Okay, well these uh, platforms. I just realized this. I, I need to go to the other screen. It'll be much easier to show this way. Actually, the layout of this wasn't making a ton of sense to me, and I was just like, I feel like a lot of these, if you were to actually map them out, would like overlap like this, and that it's not really. They didn't worry about the spatial arrangement about the different areas. All right, square thing with the eye, two platforms, key piece up top there. If you hook around here, go back up, it's like, okay, well, these are that far apart from each other. They're like overlapping areas. That's not bad level design. That's literally intentional. There's the bottom of the thing. I might be able to hop this platform. Do it. Go for it. Do it. Come on. Come on. Give it a little hop step. All right, I must have to raise up a third one there, and then I hop across them from up here. I can't, I can't seem to do it across from here though. But that, this is an aspect of things I was like overlooking, the same way that the ledge overlooks the lower area. Uh, even running doesn't do it. There is a run button, by the way. You can, you can hold shift and run around. So I found a video of someone doing this. And they did it immediately after burning the leaves, and so I think there's some sort of event that by burning and leaving and coming back, I reset. It's a demo. There's bugs for the devs. This is something that I think might be a problem. Resetting. I just decided to swim laps around in the water here. I found a little sparkly bit, and, uh, and I found some money. Now it makes me kind of want to splash around for a, a minute longer and see what else might be out here. 
Ah, one more thing, another 50, 50 bucks, so you can get 100 gold, just immediately as soon as the game starts. Now to, to oh, also really quickly before I leave, I got Shadow Me hanging out behind that pillar there. Ooh, ducking behind again. I missed that, I missed that the first time. All right, what I had seen in the video was the person burnt this and then immediately went for a jump? Why doesn't that work for me? Oh, you're kidding me. There's an actual jump button? All I knew about was interact, using your sword, and shooting fireballs. There's a, a damn jump button. I, I gotta, I, I gotta key piece. In hindsight, I maybe should have thought of that because there's clearly areas like this that look like they need to be jumped across. But no, there's the staircase. There's a there's one or two areas that look like they would be jumpable. Oh, there was Shadow Me in the in the top left there as well, sneaking around. Like this. This looks like jumpable. Yeah. So there. There, I managed to pull that off. Hmm. This is what needs to be done in this area. I need to open up the staircase. I'm pretty sure I had done that before. Things are coming together. It's making a little more sense this time around. Oh, wait, I turn this guy into stone guy. I hit him onto here. He becomes sad. He stops being able to move. Stairs open up. Now I can actually go across to this side. Oh, I can fire, fire these guys. Oh, you stay away, bud. I, can't, I, I might I might not actually be able to chop them up though. This one's more aggressive or something. I, I swear I couldn't actually be hurt by the other one. This one I actually have to kind of like hold at bay here. I don't even know why I'm bothering collecting the money. It doesn't seem to really matter. Hey, the, those other fires burning, like this grass burning actually affected him. I think. I didn't actually have to shoot fires. There's also a quick item button so you don't have to navigate to your menu to use things like potions found that out too looking more closely at the like itch page instructions a crystal ball Ooh, it's emitting a stunning periwinkle hue I apparently don't know what periwinkle is I thought it was like pink pink e that thing looked damn purple to me ah all right quick quick potion <laughs> This is going poorly. I don't like I don't like the shadow balls. This guy's fine. Maybe because it's above ground. They're like only dangerous below ground. Oh! Oh okay. I he he needed the crystal and the cat statue. Uh, I just I just didn't have the crystal before. Jesus. I I got messed up on which button was which and just got wrecked by the stupid little hopping slimes. You, you good man? You want to talk or anything? Ah, uh, you just remake that same interaction happen. Oh, shit. Suddenly that guy is, is dangerous. Thought I could just beeline it to the, sa like, the main area and save to heal. See, I like the way, I like the way she reignites. Some of these paths look like they would lead somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure if it actually would though. It just it's kind of set up that way. Oh There was a scary me on the edge of that platform for a second there. It's just popping up all over the place really getting around Oh, you can totally see there's cracks in the wall there. Maybe I People would figure that out on their own. I guess I'm not such a super genius after all That's like a very discoverable thing do you know what? Suddenly, the this puzzle coming up, the spike trap puzzle thing, oh, God damn it, uh, makes infinitely more sense because you can jump, so you don't have to literally just walk into the spikes and hope you have enough potions or hope you have like a nice direct line back to being able to heal. Like it's nice that it gives you a potion because you know that could benefit you if you take a bit of uh, unexpected damage. But no, the game does not force you to take damage. <laughs> Only if you really want it. If you're just like a sadist and you, you just think it would be fun to just just stab the bottom of your feet a little bit. Just a test of your own will and determination. Oh god. 
<laughs> I was running back to heal and she was waiting there to kill me. I kind of got, got lucky that I just angled myself off towards the cat. Or else that could have very easily been like a finishing blow. I, I took uh, some unnecessary damage and was like, I don't care, I'm gonna go heal. This was painfully unclear. I consulted the video for this. You go back and talk to her. Hold out your hand, honey. There's something I want you to have. And then you leave. You got, you got the last piece of the key. Why? Why would I know or think to do that? I, I legit don't know. But hey, I, I guess it works. Mina slowly unlocks the door for the sake of dramatic tension. Once you walk through this door, there's no turning back. If you're ready, carry on. If not, step away. I might as well juice up on a few things. I got some money. I'll buy a three times kaboom and load up on some uh, cheap, cheap potions. Now I'm ready. Take take me on to the, the boss world. Presumably the end of the demo. <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm casting my own freaky shadow now, but it's freaky in a different way from the shadow me that's been bouncing around this whole time. What's that? What's that back there? Oh, it's a chest. <laughs> I also didn't realize I could I could venture off of this path. If I go over here, I can see less of my own shadow. That I want to stay clear. I don't want to. I don't like them. Oh, Shadow Mina literally brandishes her blade and she's ready to fight. And she has her own version of like shadow fire and everything. Oh, okay. There's like the above world battles where I just chuck fire and then chop them with a sword. There's like legit battles as well. I have arts where here's where I would access those different things if I had anything other than just fire. Charge, I'll just do a regular old sword swipe. 10, 10 HP, her eyes are locked on Mina. Oh god, okay, uh, I wasn't expecting this. It's a cool little cutaway. Was I supposed to go, was that just me dodging? Was I supposed to go on the offensive there? Uh, now I'm a little bit more prepared for what's going on. But I can, I can jump, I can jump. That's like the main thing I have going for me there. Endure. Bah, damn it. Just stay the hell away from me, dude. Ugh. Okay, that didn't go well. I'm glad I, I'm glad I bought a bunch of things then. Guzzle the potion. You only get to recover one. Ooh, I can I can guzzle two though in a single turn apparently, and I can still attack. Potions does not does not count. Ah, oh, she anticipated it. Well, it should have been pretty obvious. It's literally the only thing I've done. Oh, damn it. I uh, maybe I maybe you just can't. The game is like built to not allow you to just spam a certain move or anything. You have to throw some variety in there. So I'm, I'm gonna charge. Oh, I have to, I'm trying to ignite these, of course. So that was good, right? I did it? <laughs> I think. Charged up and recovered an AP. Her eyes are locked in. Ah, back. I don't, I don't like this guy. Oh, if I just go, if I just start a forest fire and go hide out in it, that seems to work out quite well. I can't actually use my fire or anything. I, I It seemed like breaking up my attack pattern, even just the tiniest bit, made a difference. Oh, that was just terribly done. I am embarrassed. The, the area you're able to actually walk around in on that screen is very small. And that shouldn't be an excuse. I'm getting the hang of it. The having to play like a little mini game almost during a battle reminds me a lot of other her loving embrace, which I just played a demo of on the channel super recently. That'll be what like is in the end cards of this video, probably. I feel like people should check that out. Oh, I realized probably too late what was going on there. I panicked and totally botched it. It still counts as charging up. Could I have done it better? Looks furious. Because I certainly didn't do it well. Oh, well, well. Fuck me then. <laughs> what? I like, I was, when you're hurt and taking damage, you can't use your fireball. So I would get hurt at the same time I tried to use a fireball. Get hurt at the same, and it, I was just stuck in a loop there where I couldn't get out of it. That sucked. Two of those things. And not having as much grass to retreat into makes that infinitely harder. 
this is going really quite terribly overall. I, I think I, my best bet is to just try and endure that rather than trying to do anything too crazy. Duh! That one pushed me out into the spike. I got pushed at the end there. <sighs> ah, charging doesn't seem to do anything. I, I guess charging is literally only important. Ah, da! <laughs> that shouldn't have worked as well as it did. They were like on top of me. It sucks. I think I have to charge in order to do any of this shit. What? I can't... The fire can't reach those. Oh, was there grass all around the outside that I had to shoot instead? These little WarioWare minigames are, like, tough to try and figure out in such a short amount of time. I got, I got her below half health. I assume she's gonna go max power on me now. If, if, with the three second countdown and everything, it actually literally is WarioWare. <laughs> it's kind of funny to think. Uh, this, like the, the outside thing there. I have to light all that? It goes so slowly. Oh, do you know what? I could have I could have shot multiple fireballs much closer to it. That was my... Oh, th and that time I failed. That time it didn't count. I didn't get to charge anything. But, ah, go hide. Hide in the fire. Hide in the fire. That enduring is so damn difficult, and now I'm so low on potions. I was not expecting this. Is she tired or something? Looks exhausted. Well, that's good for me. God damn. <laughs> this one, this one's the toughest. The way the hitbox of those pillars work, it, it Fs you up a little bit. It, allow, it doesn't allow you to, like, move around in the space properly, as far as I'm concerned. It's a little, there's a little bit too much jank going on there, so it doesn't quite work the way I think it's really meant to. Oh god, I have to hit this too? There's like just not enough time for that. Ah! I blew it up and I still had to go interact with that orb or whatever? Jesus. Ah, what, what do I do? I can't flee properly here? This is too much! <laughs> I'm, I'm stressing out. The way that the the, bo the battle is like changing up and everything is really cool and all that. I might not live long enough to see the full thing you miss so goddamn often. I The frequency with which I have to charge. I guess if you had more attacks, then it wouldn't be as much of an issue. Because then uh, you could just do different offensive things. Come on, man! Did I do it? I finally. <laughs> I, I, I hate this one. I, I think I, I guess I should just face it and spam. Spam that. That seems to be the best bet. You guys stay the hell away. It's funny that I still collect coins. I feel, I, I wonder if you would actually, oh, I forgot that I attacked last time. I wonder if you could actually come out of a battle, like keeping all the coins, coinage that you collected during that. I don't like trying to remember what I what I had done last. That's thrown me off a few times now. Okay, that had to have counted, yes? Alright, my AP should be full. Don't know what it's for. Don't know what, what good that does. If I just sit here and spam this, I, I think that's the safest way to succeed in that one, actually. I was, I was getting overly fancy with it before. Alright, I have to charge once more. God damn it. Charge once more and attack once more still. So I I got like I got my work cut out for me. This one requires some pretty precise shit. No I don't know. I don't know if that counts or matters or anything. Cause at least I didn't attack, right? Okay. I've been pretty reliable with this one. That's good for me. I had no right to win that. That was such an uphill battle. I had so much difficulty with that. Oh. <laughs> Fighting yourself seems like an end boss thing, kind of, you know? But maybe it's just like a nice entry point. You're like re-unifying your, your body and shadow. Well done. Yes, very well done. I expected nothing less from you, Mina. Soon, Falsung will approach her darkest hour. She's in need of a hero who will cast away her shadows. Your acts here have spoken for themselves. With time, your light will grow brighter, 
and you will grow stronger. The crystal before you, take it. Absorb its power and shine bright. Woohoo, so bright. <laughs> I got the Shadow Shard. Overall HP and AP increased by one, also learned Light Wave. Funny to gain a shadow thing and learn a light thing. If her HP is full and she swings her sword, it will expel a wave of light. Super Zelda-esque. Cool. I guess I'm full health right now. <laughs> I guess I healed up after that. Neat. Ooh, nice colorful little cutscene emerging. You made it out just in time to see the sunrise, Mina. Isn't it beautiful? Mina? The journey ahead will test you. You practically have the weight of the world on your shoulders. But it will also be filled with moments like these. Don't let them pass you by. Save the world, but don't forget to save yourself. And promise me, promise me that no matter what happens, you'll stay with me, okay? Is it the fairy that talked to me in the opening part of the game? Is the fairy someone other than just a fairy? Like, maybe it's... Someone turned into a fairy? Nina, honey, are you still asleep? The spider thing was our mom! What? The There's the cat? Oh, my god! Uh, can I get the mouse on screen? I can't. Uh, not, it, it like, it cuts out. The recording thing isn't showing it. Two, two things. Technically three, I don't know. Just immediately to the right of the curtain, the shelf there, there's the two characters, Wizard and Gerson, are the two characters from Other, Her Loving Embrace, the game that I mentioned, and that poster is a pixelized version of a poster for that game. I don't know what the green yo-yo is under the cat or anything, I'm kind of poking around for other references. The pink slippers, uh... Sans-esque, I don't know, that that one might be a little bit distant. They have like a Nintendo Switch on, on their nightstand and everything, which is funny. Frog, I don't know if that's anything. There's like a weird, half-hard-to-see guy sitting on the shelf there. I don't know what's, what's up with that. Or on the windowsill, I should say. Come to the kitchen, I've got a surprise for you. I legitimately didn't- you have a huge TV in your bedroom. I legitimately did not know that this game had like two worlds. A TV! Mina's mom gave it to her for making honors at the academy. Mina's mom stitched this quilt ages ago. Washing and drying it so many times has made it super soft. A pair of neon Joy-Cons in their grip. They need charging up. I'm trying to interact with the guy on the shelf. Other plushies! These ones are Mina's, one of Mina's most prized possessions. The one on the right kind of smells like jerky and dirt. <laughs> Peculiar. That's really funny that a game would have a reference to another game that uh, recently was kickstarted, but is kind of still just in, like a demo phase. Demos referencing demos. Th you gotta love the indie game world. Mina pets Udon and tells her about the dream she had. Oh, so that's like, it's her real cat and that's like a thing that she likes to do in the morning, but it's also how she saves? Adorable. An academy handbook. Mina found it after cleaning her room. It's a beautiful day out, wouldn't you say? Is the beautiful day thing also going a little bit undertale, or is it just like a typical thing that people say? Hi, Roomba. <laughs> Mina lifts Chumba off the floor. A 10 mint coin was stuck in him. Oh, score. This is Mina's mom's room. Don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> it's Johnny's room. The smell of cheap body spray seeps under the door. Ah, I don't want to be like, it's Undertale, it's Undertale! <laughs> but this is also a thing in Toriel's house, is that there's like this weird, long-ass narrow mirror that you can walk alongside. You can't interact with it or anything. Chumba can usually park himself here to charge up. Usually. But there's, there's two spots, really, really close together. Weird to sandwich the outlets together like that, you know? Hi, Mom. Don't know why you're a spider. There you are. I was about to check on you. Come on in. I made you. I made something special for you. Well, I, I'm just going to root around in the kitchen for a minute first, okay, Mom? Don't... 
I, I trust that you made me something delicious and all that, but I just want to see what else there is to interact with. Oh, I can't go in this room. I, I can't really interact with anything. We're getting to the end of the demo anyways. Aww. You made me the sickest sack of pancakes I've ever seen. Did you enjoy your breakfast, pumpkin? I hate to be in a rush, but I need to take care of a few things at the shop before it's time. I don't know what it's time for. Maybe going to the academy? It's funny, because calling me pumpkin is like, ah, uh, this pumpkin cute daughter of mine. But it can also be like a thing that, like, you know, people just say as a generic, like, honey or deer or darling or pumpkin, I guess. It worked. It didn't, I wasn't like, what a weird thing for this pumpkin lady to call me. The spider lady to call me. <laughs> when I'm done, I'll close up early. We can all spend the rest of the day to celebrate. That reminds me. Johnny left earlier to help Professor Sid with preparations. Why not see if they could use an extra hand? If you decide to go out, make sure you lock the door. I love you. And put your dirty dishes in the sink for me, please. Okay, fine. Fine, Mom. You did put in the effort. Putting them in the sink is the least I can do. Oh, here's like the Cheshire Cat. Mina looks under the sofa. I got a safety pin that reduces damage taken by one quarter. That's huge. But... I really just want to pet the cat. Man, this is as big as the TV I have in my own room. Cool, cool carpet design. I'm, I think that showed up, might have been like on the, the door before the boss or something like that. I, I, I'm pretty sure it existed in the other world somewhere. I, I can't seem to interact with any of that. Now the character looks quite earthboundy all of a sudden in the overworld. Just like a little bit. Open the fridge. I got a POW tart. Eaten as is, Mina can recover 1 HP. If you toast it, something good may happen. Oh, fire that bad boy in there. Put a POW tart in the toaster. It's toasting. Still toasting. Ah! No one's toaster dings. <laughs> That's just not what they do. It popped up. I got the toasted POW tart. You recover 3 HP. Oh, phone call. Hello? Is this Mina? Hey, this is Professor Sid. Have you heard from Johnny? He was supposed to help me this morning, but he didn't show up, nor will he answer my calls. She told you that he left early this morning. Nina, have your mother call me as soon as possible. Johnny? That was a very cool, like, twist at the end that I didn't expect at all. That was... That was really cool. I had some trouble with some of the puzzles, mostly because I didn't know you could jump. I eventually got over that. There's a little bit of hitbox jank here and there in the overworld and in the battles that made a few of those things like trickier than they maybe should have been. But overall, that was neat. And I'd be really, really curious to see how the two different worlds like intertwine and everything like that. That was a really effective demo. Uh, it's it's tough making a demo because some people just make it the first 30 minutes of their game for 60 minutes of their game some try and craft which I think here is like a mixture of crafting a unique thing or reworking an early part of the game to, to work as like a small little demo uh, I don't know maybe that would legit just be the start of the game but I think that was pretty cool overall quite impressed glad I glad I checked it out <laughs> this preview typically takes people 15 to 20 minutes to complete, is what I'm seeing on their itch page. Nah, that took me an hour. <laughs> Apparently an update is being worked on for the demo that makes uh, finding the last two key pieces a little easier. Probably specifically the spider one, because... I, I, I mean, looking at this picture of the spider character now, I can see that they have a heart pendant. But it's the same color as them, there's no reason to like specially pay attention to that or anything like you know there, there's nothing drawing your eye there it's there's no reason to think that that's where the last piece of the key is or whatever so I think that's something that could be easily improved but anyways they're, they're working on it they're they're working with the community to try and polish things up a little bit so if you decide to play it for yourself depending when this video comes out and when you do that it might it might have been tweaked already Definitely, definitely go don't go follow this one because I'm very curious to see what they do with it. It also 
seeing this all of a sudden is making me think of the opening scene where the character opens her eyes and it's the heterochromia, two different colored eyes. I'm pretty sure it was like orange and kind of bluish purple. I'm kind of thinking that that's meant to represent these two different Minas a little bit. That's, that's clever and interesting. I probably don't have anything more to say about this. I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. End card link to other Her Loving Embrace if you want to check that out as well. See what that demo was all about. It was closer to about two hours. It's a bit longer. It's a few videos. Yeah, worth, worth checking out. Two, two interesting games for you.